Okay, in order to start this base off, you're going to want to place a low foundation and place one one step higher. Be sure to copy exactly what I do, otherwise the bunker won't work. The whole idea behind the suicide bunker is that when you place a roof it leaves enough space for a box to stick through the wall. If there's any walls connecting to the front wall, the bunker won't open. This is what happens if you leave walls connected to the front wall. From this point, your base is fully secure. You can expand at your own pace. In order to place all your deployables, your foundation has to be in the right spot. If you pay attention to the supports in the foundation, you'll see it snaps into two different spots. From here, you'll want to place it when the least supports are visible. If you've ever had trouble placing four boxes in one square, that's the reason why. Just one more thing I wanted to mention is that if you wanted a lower HQM cost, then you wouldn't have to armor everything. Only armor the suicide bunker and the base would still roughly be 40 rockets. All the upkeep costs and build costs will be in the description for the cheaper version. If you are wondering, this stone frame is here for the roof bunker. This ladder does not implicate the roof bunker in any way, shape or form. Before we seal this honeycomb, we're going to place a twig frame so a shelf inside the bunker has somewhere to snap onto.
If you're wondering why I did this, it's because there's currently a bug in Rust that allows you to destroy triangle ceilings through walls if not snapped in the right location. And now you can go ahead and destroy the frame and seal the honeycomb. For anyone who wishes to have a different roof design or have no roof at all, copy everything I do on the second level but not the third. A huge shout out to GameLight for this peak down design. His link will be in the description. Just a quick disclaimer for anyone wondering, no one can get into your base through these peak downs. If you place down these lanterns, you won't sink into the frame as if there was no hole there in the first place.
Now you get to see how much easier it is to place four boxes in one square now that you've placed the foundations in the right position. Place the vending machine as close to the door frame as you feasibly can. Now you can very easily access the drop box through the vending machine. If you're worried about splash damage, be sure to place down siren lights in the frame of your window. This is how you seal your bunker. Thank you so much for watching this far and remember to subscribe.